The next technique we'll be demonstrating is rag painting using a natural cotton rag. For this technique, we'll be using glazes and a base coat of a satin finished paint. Watch this next segment on how to choose your paint colors. Using glazes to create your faux finish, you need to have a base coat of a satin finished paint on your wall. In this particular situation, I'm going to choose this as my base coat. So I'm going to roll this color on the wall. From there, we need to choose a contrasting color that we'll mix our glaze out of. Now that color can be either lighter or darker than this. It should be three shades either lighter or darker than your base coat color. So in this situation, I'm going to choose one, two, three shades deeper than my base coat color. And that's the color I'm going to mix my glaze. Now that you know how to choose your paint colors, let's have you watch how to mix your glazes. In order to do your faux finish, you will be using a glaze. A glaze is translucent paint that's designed to dry slowly. When you're using glazes to create your faux finish, you have two options. You can either buy pre-mixed glazes. Those are glazes that have color in them already. Or, if you choose, want to customize a color to create a glaze, then you can do that. How this is done is by purchasing a gallon of faux glazing liquid and combining it with a quart of paint. The ratio is four parts glaze to one part paint. Put it together and mix it up and you have a glaze. Now that we've rolled our base coat on the surface and mixed our glazes, we're ready to roll. Now this technique is a ragging off technique. And if you're doing a large surface area, it really is the most effective way is to work with two people. That way you can have one person apply the glaze and the other remove it with the cotton rag. So for this, I'm inviting my friend Amber back to do another technique with me. And she's actually going to take and roll on the glaze again. So Amber, why don't you go ahead and do that? Amber's paying close attention to rolling her glaze very evenly and consistently. And she's not going to go too far along the wall so that I can't keep up when I'm doing the ragging off technique. Once she's done a few rows of applying the glaze, then I'm ready to follow behind her using my cotton rag. So in order to get a proper impression on the wall, the best way to do it is folding the cotton rag properly. The best way to do this is to hold it up, grab it by one corner, and reach your hand down below and kind of let it fold back and forth across your hand into a ball. That way, the folds that you see left will leave the impression of the rag painting on the surface. So every time you refold the rag, you'll have a different impression. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this and start removing the glaze. I'm going to take my hand and begin by making an impression on the surface. Then I'm going to make sure that I'm rotating. Notice my hand is going right to left, right to left back and forth so that I have a rotational viewpoint on the wall. And at any given point, if your rag becomes overly saturated with paint, refold it. And you can keep doing this until your rag is completely saturated and you can use a new rag at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm rotating quickly back and forth. It's kind of more of a pouncing effect. Refolding. back and forth, creating my look. This is a very sophisticated look. It looks wonderful in all different types of rooms. It's also rich with color when the glaze is on top of the base coat, and it's an all-time favorite for many faux finishers. When I get almost up to where Amber has applied all of the glaze, I'm going to leave an area open so she can overlap her glaze and continue on. While she's still rolling her glaze, I'm going to follow right behind her, pouncing away and refolding my rag, making a nice transition. See that line there? I'm kind of making it go away just by going back and forth using my rag.
You get nice variation. If you look on the wall, you should see lighter and darker areas. It's a very sophisticated look. So that's ragging off using a cotton rag and it was a lot of fun not only doing the faux finish but having Amber here to help me. Thanks a lot Amber again for your assistance and I hope you have fun doing rag painting in your home. It just doesn't get any easier than this.